welcome in. So much of whether or not you like the inside of a camper is uh, how it feels. You know, um, we're going to talk about some of the lifestyle features, some of the things that make the inside of this camper feel more like home and more comfortable than a lot of them in the industry. Um, first thing I'll talk about is we have 82 inch ceiling heights. And I know it's become trendy to have a radius ceiling inside campers, but uh, it does a couple of things. <clears throat> One, it's only going to be tall in the middle. Your sidewalls are still going to be 78 or 79 inches somewhere in there, which means your slide outs are up to about four inches shorter. Um, with 82 inch ceiling heights like we have in the Sport Trek, you've got six foot slide outs, much more comfortable. You're not, and you're not as likely to bump your head on when you're standing up. Uh, the second thing it does is it provides uh, bigger windows, which means you have more light, you have more uh, ventilation. Um, and you know, the worst thing in the world is to be inside a camper that makes you feel like you're in a little cave. Right? And again, the taller ceilings give you that extra headroom so you don't feel that way. Let's look around the cabin and see what else these, uh, the 251 VBH has to offer. All right, spacious interior. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, stainless steel appliances and they're the ones that don't leave fingerprints, which is great uh, if it's a bunkhouse. I'm sure you have kids in here and wiping off fingerprints isn't any fun. You've got a, um, a thermoplastic surface on the countertops. It's called Surfex. And uh, the way it's made is it's heated up and vacuum formed to the shape, whatever shape you put below it. And the great thing about it is it's heat resistant and it's also scratch resistant. You can take a key and rub it across here without scratching it. Um, and what's nice is it gives you the appearance of a solid surface without the weight and it's much more durable. You know, anytime you slide a coffee cup across or a plate on uh, a, a solid surface, you have a potential for leaving a scratch. You're not going to have that with the Surfex countertops. It comes with a nice sink cover cutting board to create more counter space. Uh, double bowl deep sinks with pull out sprayer faucet. The cabinetry is. Uh, Solid wood doors and drawer faces with a wrapped uh, style. The style is actually a, a, a lumber core, it's a, a plywood that they use in furniture manufacturing. Right, so you see that here, you can also see it in the base cabinetry. And you've got pull out uh, full extension uh, roller bearing drawer glides, a little sponge drawer there. Another thing we do, we talked a little bit about lifestyle features and the height and the feel inside a camper, but we always like to think about who's using these and where things go. For instance, this is all open inside here for a trash can. If you're a camper and you've ever gotten up in the middle of the night and kicked the trash can open, or come back from a day on the lake and the dog has gotten into the trash can, you will definitely appreciate the fact that there's a place to keep the trash can out of the way. Ordinarily, you have a Walmart bag or something tied to a doorknob. That's, that's how it was when I was a kid. So. <clears throat> Moving over here, you've got a deep pantry. This is about 30 inches deep. Okay? Uh, lots of storage. And again, if it's bunkhouse and you've got kids with you, you need all that storage. Underneath the dinette, you have access doors on both sides. So again, easy access in and, and out of uh, the booth dinette. The back of the 251 VBH has, of course, your double bunks, double over double. And when you lift the mattress, you have access underneath for tons of storage. Right. Inside the bathroom, you find uh, a nice porcelain commode, um, storage over the sink, medicine cabinet, nice uh, counter space, and a Nautilus shower. You commonly see these showers in uh, the marine industry, but uh, we've now adapted them for use in RVs. Okay, here we are in the master bedroom of the 251 VBH. We've done a couple things different in here as well. Uh, we've designed this for comfort and convenience. Uh, one thing you'll notice is this is a residential 60 by 80 inch queen size bed, not an RV queen like you see so many times. And in the back here, what we've done is we've changed the, the way we build the shirt closets. The shirt closet generally goes all the way to the wall. The problem is you couldn't reach the back of it anyway. So we open that up and created what we call the store more nightstands. So you have a shelf on the bottom and a shelf in the middle. Um, so many times you need uh, a place to put your water, a book, your cell phone, a CPAP machine. There's a 12 volt, I'm sorry, there's a 110 outlet on both sides as well as USB chargers. So it's very convenient, 
and uh, we've utilized storage that ordinarily was just a wall. The entertainment center in the 251 VBH offers an optional 40 inch flat screen TV, it's LED, uh, it communicates with the uh, Furion um, stereo and entertainment system here. Uh, when they're paired together you get actually the TV sound through the house speakers. Uh, uh, ordinarily if they're if they're it's not a match set you only hear the music through the speakers if you've got a CD or a DVD in the player. Right, so that's a nice benefit of getting one with the TV. Um, here you have uh, storage but there's an optional uh, fireplace that's available here as well for those of you who like a, a little ambiance in your travel trailer. Um, the safe tech storage box. This is a hidden storage area. It's got a 110 outlet and uh, USB chargers in it. It's nice because you can keep valuables like your keys, your wallet, anything you don't want laying around. And also it's a good place to recharge your electronics so they're not laying out all over the place on the counter on the countertops. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's it for the 251 VBH. We've uh, we've done a full circle on it. Uh, it weighs in about 5,500 pounds, so it's easily towable by any of today's half ton half ton vehicles and some even smaller. Uh, if you want more information, uh, go to our website at uh, www.venturerv.com. Uh, venture Thanks.